The number of school-aged children who want to be known by different gender has written, risen dramatically over the last decade. Despite the increase, there are still no official guidelines on training on how to teach, teach teachers and schools on dealing with pupils who are transitioning, meaning students have very mixed experiences. Our social affairs correspondent Fiona Lambden reports. There's been a huge increase in referrals of children questioning their gender identity. Nine years ago, here in the southwest, there were 11. But last year, there were 292 referrals. But despite the hike in referrals, few schools know how to best deal with transgender students, as there are currently no national guidelines. Young people end up coming out of education because of the time that they have within schools. And I think what we need is some really comprehensive guidance um, to support schools so that that doesn't happen, so that young people aren't then um, in a position where they cannot actually cope with the day-to-day -day because of the way that they are treated. But despite the lack of advice, 20 miles away in Western Supermare, Jay has had a great experience at school. Two years ago, Talia became Jay. They gave me options like um, whether I want to stay in, the same, stay in the same changing rooms or switch to the male changing room for PE. Um, and I did stay because I just felt more comfortable, but it was really nice knowing that the option was there. Uh, they changed my name on the register before it was even legally changed, which was um, a massive thing. We tried to listen to the concerns that they have, we tried to listen to what it is that will make things better for them, and then we operate on a really compassionate level and just try and make sure that we can support them in every way we can. And in fact, the school went a step further. When Jay was chosen as the student to lead the school, they changed the title from head boy to head of school. You were made head of school this year. You were the student in charge of all the other students. How was that? That was a massive thing for me because it was just like the realisation that no matter who you are, you can still achieve the same. Jay knows his experience as a transgender student at school, while good, is unusual. As the Equality and Human Rights Commission issue new guidelines over the summer holiday, Others will be hoping their experience next term improves. Fiona Lambdin, BBC Points West, Bristol.